All right, in this lecture, we're gonna start blocking in our colors and we're also gonna kind of create a color palette. So let's go ahead and get started. So real quick, I just wanna talk about my sketch. So you saw me make a lot of changes. So I tried a few different sketches at first and then once I decided on, I started to wanna to solidify one of these ideas a little bit more. So my third sketch, I went ahead and I just started continuing the drawing and changing things and you'll, you should have seen how I changed a lot of the different features on. I changed the placement of the nose, the size, I changed the eyes two times, I tried different eyebrows on there, um, I did the mouth multiple times over and over again until I got it looking the way I wanted. So it's really about doing a bunch of iterations of each feature on your character and trying to nail down what it is that you want. And you can do these on separate layers too so you can turn them off and on and try different things and you won't have to lose those. But now what I have here is I have my underdrawing, so the blue underdrawing, and then I also have my top drawing. So I have all that detail in there. And what I wanna do now is, so I can paint the colors in, I don't wanna use black and I don't wanna use blue because that's not gonna blend very well when I start painting on top of this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the color of these. And the way I'll do that is I'm gonna go ahead and start with the black layer. So I'll add a new layer above that. I'm gonna turn it into a clipping layer mask. And then using my fill tool, we can just go ahead and fill it in with a dark reddish brown color. See how that looks. Let's keep it kind of desaturated. Probably a little bit darker, maybe a little bit more red. Maybe a little bit less dark. Something like that probably looks good. And then let's go ahead and do the same thing for our blue layer. So I'm gonna go ahead, create a new layer, turn that into a clipping layer mask. And we'll go ahead and fill that in with the same color. Maybe we'll make this a little bit more red and a little bit lighter as well. Let's actually go ahead and drag it over here to where our blue color used to be. Fill that in. All right, that looks pretty cool. I like that. And maybe I'll actually just, what I'll do is I'll darken that, fill it in so I have a dark color, maybe make it a little bit more saturated. So I have a dark color and then I'll just bring the opacity down on my blue layer, so not on the clipping layer mask, but on the blue layer. So it's a little bit more transparent, but that way when we put color beneath it, it's not gonna be a lighter color on top of a darker color. This will be a darker color and the darkness will come through with the other color underneath it. All right, so that looks pretty good. So now let's go, ahead, and the reason why we change this to more of a red-brown color is just because it'll blend better. Black and blue aren't gonna blend very well with the colors we're gonna be using. So now let's go ahead and let's add a new layer underneath all of this and we're gonna start blocking these colors in. So I have an image here that you'll find in this file. So if you don't wanna draw your own character and you just wanna use my character drawing, you can download this file in the resources and it'll come with this image of this girl. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use her skin tone as a base so that we can figure out what our color palette will be for her skin tone. So we can basically just color pick from her. And so I'm gonna start with sort of this mid tone skin tone bring up my brush size, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start by filling in anywhere where there will be skin showing through. All right, great. Then I can go ahead and I can grab one of these darker colors and I can fill some of that in, in some other areas. So for example, right there underneath the jaw, it'll be a little bit darker there. Maybe her ear will be a little bit darker. Um, maybe the side of the face will be a little bit darker. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna select this lightest skin tone. Maybe I'll select it a little bit with some more of a brown color in there. And I can go ahead and just highlight some of these areas in a little bit. It's not. Not a whole lot, but just something like that. I'm gonna go ahead and reselect this color out here and just kind of touch this shadow up a little bit more. Like that. All right, great, that's looking pretty good. Maybe we can grab some of this color here. And we'll add some shadow underneath this area where the bangs hang down over her face. All right, great. Um, maybe we'll add a little bit of shadow over here on the hand as well. Perfect. 
Next, let's go ahead and let's work on her hair. So we need to decide what color we want her hair to be. I'm gonna create a new layer so that the hair is on a different layer so I can change it if I want to. So I'm gonna start by painting it this dark, basically dark brown and see how that looks, see if I like it. So I'll just quickly block this in. If I overshoot the lines a little bit, that's okay. We can always come back and erase. That's a nice thing too about making your line drawings. Um, a little bit of a lighter color is if they're black, they would just be blending in with this black. And it'd be really hard to know where the edge of that hair is, but since it's a little bit of a lighter reddish brown color, we can go back in there and erase that and know where we need to erase. So I'll just go in there with my eraser. All right, great, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and zoom out and see how that looks. That looks kind of cool. I'm not sure if that's the color I want her hair to be. So what I can do is I can create a clipping layer mask above that, and I can just fill that in with different colors. So we could try something else. We could try something more like a purple. Fill that in with a purple. That's pretty cool looking, I like that. I think I'm gonna stick with something more like that purple. Maybe I'll lighten it up a little bit. Maybe darken it just a tiny bit. All right, that looks cool, I like that. So I'm gonna go ahead I'll just keep it like that for now. All right, next, let's go ahead and move on to her shirt. So I'm gonna create a new layer for her shirt. That way I can change it. I'm gonna try filling it in with black, whoops. And see how that looks. Now the reason why I chose purple for her hair and the reason why it kind of looks um, good is because it's a cool color and her skin is a warm color. And so by putting that um, cool color next to it, it just looks kind of nice. That's not to say that you couldn't give her something like red hair or something like that. In fact, maybe we should give her more than one color of hair. Maybe the bottom or the tips of her hair should be a different color and her root should be darker. It's kind of cool looking. Let's add a clipping layer mask. Let's try a few other colors in there. Let's try something like a red. See how that looks. It's kind of cool, maybe a darker red. Maybe more saturated. It's pretty cool looking. Maybe try some other colors, try green, maybe a desaturated green. It's cool. Maybe try blue. Maybe we should just try like a gray. See how that looks. The gray is kind of cool. I'm gonna come back down into my purple layer for the hair and maybe I'll try, like I said, um, adding a little bit of some different color in there. Switch over to a soft edged brush. So you can get a nice gradient. You can see I can kind of just lighten up the bottom of her hair like that with a more of a violet purple. It's kind of cool. I think I like this gray shirt. I think that looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with this gray shirt. Alright, let's go ahead and continue on. So I'll add a new layer. And let's just go ahead and fill in her, I'm not sure if she's wearing a skirt or pants, it's 
<clears throat> we're not really going to worry about that down there. We're just going to keep this nice and simple. Switch over to something else, like uh, switch back to the brush I was using before. I think I was using that textured paintbrush. Actually, I think I was using something else. I think it was this watercolor. Maybe it was this textured. I think it was a watercolor. Just go with that guy. All right. So go ahead and fill this in. You can always change the color. It doesn't really matter what color you fill it in with. You can always change it. So once I get that main part filled in, I'm just going to go ahead and bring my brush size up. And just kind of let that paint fade out down there. All right, great. Let's go ahead and zoom out, see how that looks. It's looking pretty good. I'm going to come back down to my skin tone layer. Select this really light skin tone. Try adding a little bit more highlight in here. Make sure you come back and clean the hair off the face as well. I got some of it on the face and I want to make sure that I get it all cleaned up. All right, great. Now lastly, let's go ahead and just paint in this gun. So I'm gonna come over here to this pants layer because we're about to merge all this together anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, maybe I'll select this gray and I'll grab more of a blue version of it. See how that looks. Fill that gun in with that color. And that looks pretty good. All right, so our colors are starting to come together. Um, it's a really good idea to take a minute and maybe take a break, come back, look at it, and decide what you want to do. So I'm going to take a break. When we come back, I might change some of these colors, um, but we'll see. But yeah, this is basically how you block in the colors for your character. And then from here, we're going to go ahead, merge these together and paint on top of that and really start blending things together and giving it some form and more detail and getting rid of all these sketchy lines and stuff. Thanks for watching this lecture and I'll see you guys in the next one.